Action News across Nigeria, where we tell you what's happening currently across the country. Nigeria's finance minister, Mrs. Kemi Adeoshu, and the suspended director general of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Muni Rguazo, today appeared before the House Committee investigating the suspension of the SEC chief last year. The public hearing by the House Committee on Capital Markets, headed by Honorable Tajuddin Yusuf, looks to intervene in the suspension of Munir Guazo from the Securities and Exchange Commission. The Finance Minister says his suspension remains valid within the public service rules while he queried the legality of the supervising minister. On the payment of severance package, the board extract of 2002, 11 years before I joined SEC as a commissioner, clearly states what benefits accrue to the director general. And it clearly says if you are a director general and you spend a minimum of two years in your first term and you leave office, these are your benefits. If you are a director general and you are on your second term and you spend a minimum of two years, these are your benefits. And if you are a permanent commissioner and you spend two years, these are your benefits, two years. I was appointed commissioner on the 9th of January 2013. And I was appointed DG of SEC on the 20th of May 2015, which means I spent two years and five months as commissioner. The acting head of legal and enforcement at that time Mr. Eric Elijoko, who was her boss at the office and also her senior professionally, disagreed with her recommendation and recommended for the payment of the severance packet. Why mischief makers are only relying on the opinion expressed by the acting head of legal as at that time, when everybody in the system, from her boss, from the commissioner, from the committee, all disagreed. The allegations, some of which were not substantiated, and we have discountenanced them. But the three significant ones, administrative panel has looked into. Mr. Munir was called. He was given right of audience. He came. He has made written submissions. And therefore, we believe that our decision to suspend Mr. Munir was vindicated. We cannot have somebody sitting at the helm of affairs and, and to suggest that it's only when EFCC arrests them that then they can be removed. That's not good for Nigeria. We don't have to wait for our officers to be paraded in handcuffs before the international community, before we take action. We small a solemn oath to serve the people, and we must sometimes have to make very, very tough and unpalatable decisions. The allegation that I gave an instruction that the forensic audit should stop is laughable. And I'm sure you saw the, the sect team laughing, because they know that that work is ongoing even as we speak. So it is not true. It is mischievous to even suggest that that was the case. Mrs. Kemi Adeoshu, the finance minister, finally to the southwestern region of the country and Lagos states to be specific. From February the 1st, 2018, the toll fees at the Lekki Toll Gate and Ikoi Link Bridge will increase. In a statement, the managing director of the Lekki Concession Company Limited, LCC, Mohammed Hassan, said the feedback and recommendations received during the series of consultations held in December 2017 with stakeholders in Etiosa, local government area, and its environs considerably influenced the new toll fares. That's where we leave it on news across Nigeria, where you tell you what's happening across the country. Thanks for watching. I'm Olumide McCauley.